three, our final step is to implement LetBrec as a parse transformation for Mo. Here's what we will do inside the parser. We start off with surface code like LetBrec back with a natural definition of factorial on the right hand side. And we parse that as let fact equal a call to make rec. Inside the call to make rec, we need to introduce another function which binds a local name for fact. This will be our self applied fact. And then on the inside, we took the code that the user wrote. Finally, down at the bottom, the body for our let is the same body that we got above from the let rec. Since this is a lecture on encodings, it's worth pointing out that make rec is simply an encoding. This definition happens to use let, but we don't need that. The let is not essential. It further unfolds to a bunch of functions. At the end of the day, everything we have here is functions. Putting it all together, let rec name equals right hand side with a body. Parse is the same as let name equals make rec function name with the right hand side. And then our body, which is really the same thing unfolding the let as calling a function with name as the parameter and the body. And the argument of that function is our make rec call. And if we write out make rec, this whole thing is really just one big lambda term.